Greetings, greetings, all praise King, Si La Si, Ja, Ras, Tefar I. Man may laugh, yet the I man know that just man trying to hide for the man. can no longer contain himself. This video speaking on racism, as the name implies, a man-made concept that people can talk about for days and never solve. What is it that we are speaking of, well, in the mind of King Silasi, this is a form of supremacy that until the day when man no longer views himself supreme in respect to another, there will be war. That it is the essence of injustice. And some would call the king a supremacist, seeing he take on the imperial title. Yet the king demonstrate that his law is supreme. After all, is that not what the Christ came for? To fulfill the law. What is the underlying cause of this condition known as racism? Yes, this being a condition imposed upon peoples. Marcus Mosiah Garvey said the prejudice is not against I and I because of skin color, yet of because conditions. And these conditions are conditions of class, that there is a particular class structure that functions as a whole sometimes referred to as the economy, sometimes referred to as democracy. Either way, it benefits those at the top of the structure, as it did in days of old. And so if there was not this continuous struggle at the bottom between lower class peoples, then there would be another form of warfare uh, coming from the bottom up, sometimes referred to as an uprising. And this has been well known for so many generations that even the Christ has said that the kings of the earth had their benefactors and who is traditionally the arch enemy of the Christ none other than Caesar. People can debate on what Caesar this is, but the Christ was certainly referring to a particular man-made construct of order that comprised of this kingship. The Christ failing to give tribute to and having been crucified as a result. So this structure of legality enables incentives for certain peoples. And these peoples often form a barricade in between those top tier class rulers and the majority of people on the bottom. 
the incentives, keep the middle classes operating as agents for the higher classes, their superiors. What is the most racist, openly place in this country? The prison. The prison. When you go to the prison, you know, people fight often, one with lighter skin, one with darker skin. And you'll see the darker skin will take the side of the one person and vice versa. And so you have uh, groups being pitted against each other so as to expend their energy at the bottom and never to come together to organize against the root cause of their woes. Gangs, um, operate as a result. You have the Mexican gang, you have the, what was referred to as the black gang. You have the white supremacists. These people did not form these ideologies before they came to prison. Today, people are talking themselves to death around this subject and not getting any accomplishment. When you look at the leadership of the United States, do you get a warm and fuzzy feeling that people are coming together on the bottom? No. Please believe that they are coming together at the top and they're coming together for a reason, to protect their interests at the expense of ours.